Back Welcome to the show, which is totally the best. What show is that? Game Line Express. Game Line Express. What's going on? I accidentally started the game early, so we're gonna have to uh, do the audio thing a little bit after. But this is Bikini Dude, Bottom. Dude, it's Bikini Bottom. We're playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is a street that everyone knows. Yes. I absolutely fucking love this game. This is my favorite game. Of we all just time. Fuck it. We just got finished having a discussion of how the Australian magpie is one of the most intelligent creatures in the face of the planet Earth. He's gonna steal a Krabby Patty thing and not a Stone tools? That was like a. Dude, that was an entire section of human history. Where Our totally discovery of, of tools and stuff. Like, imagine what could happen to a magpie in a couple million years. They might become like Bird Person from Rick and Morty. Uh. I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. They eventually. develop logic before it's they just develop like emotion. Of, uh, like, oh wait, hold on. This is important. He made a robot building machine. So robots building robots. Yeah. Look at this. Dude. Episode two. Look. Throw on the switch. He's smart. He knows what he's doing. My perfectly obedient robot army. Oh yeah, I knew that was coming. What do you think you're doing? Don't obey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, no. I forgot I left my don't obey Dude, setting off. this is Karl Marx. <laughs> this is revolution right here. The working class revolting against the bourgeois. Bourgeois, or however you fucking pronounce it. This game is, is like, an So do you have to, do you have to get to the chum bucket and fucking disable that switch? Is that all of the game is? You just have to flip that fucking switch? Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? This game is a lot more in depth than that, Dan. You're gonna be seeing the entire game. Because we're trying to do a speed run of it. Uh, did they get the original voice actors? Uh, it sounds like they did. They did, yeah. The game is made by them. That's awesome. Right? It also explains why it looks like this. But that's okay. This is probably the best Spongebob game there is. I, I like this game a little bit more than I like the Spongebob movie game. Really? Like Spongebob yes. Movie game a lot. And the Spongebob movie game is awesome. I've been played this, this game one. is the original before the that The conch has spoken! The conch? This game works exactly like it because this game was made f um, this game was made before it. Okay! This was the original game before the Spongebob movie. I remember seeing commercials for it. I and remember then, seeing advertising. The conch is gonna speak, dude. And in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay, is the magic wishing word? <laughs> Sorry, this this dialogue is just too great. It's like watching an episode of SpongeBob, except it's just a little more creepy. It's Allah Mahula Katsuya They really do look. I, I prefer two dimensional SpongeBob and Patrick. <clears throat> 3D just kind of. I feel like 3D almost makes anything more creepy because it makes it more realistic. I do like the art styles too. The games that do the 2D perspective. I do too. I like a three dimensional kind of world. I do too. I think that's what I like about video games, especially like old video games like SpongeBob and like that <clears throat> I like uh, that's why I like don't I, I have basically all Nickelodeon games uh -oh. from like GameCube generation <clears throat> gonna play with robots and this is the funniest part <laughs> ready your bikini bottom stinks <laughs> someone broke into your SpongeBob's bikini bottom had a stinks rave. It's going to the one Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. Dude, they must have fucking... They must have, like, seen that afterwards and been like... Oh. Look at him. Like, oh no, dude. We we totally fucked that one up. We just put that in a kid's game. Oh no, you... Dude, there's no way they didn't have that be intentional. Oh yeah, true. Man, I'm sorry. It's very true, because this is back when, like, original Spongebob... There's a lot of Spongebob... There's a lot of adult humor in the original Spongebob. Yeah, I Even know. in newer Spongebob, it's just more thinly veiled. Yeah, it is. Veiled. It is true. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah. What, do you save at typewriters, like, in Resident Evil? No. Uh, <laughs> that was letting me know... Because that'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> there's a, uh, message... There was a message from Mr. Krabs on it, and he was saying that if you bring these little shiny Look things... Look at this, he literally knows where everything is. Um, he was just saying how there was... Oh. Matt, it's kind of beautiful watching you do this. 
I, guess I know I, you're good at video games, but I've I, but I never encountered like your specialty. This is my specialty. Yeah, I can tell. Nickelodeon dude. games, like GameCube versions of Nickelodeon games. This is like when you watch me play Red Faction. Yeah. I don't know if you ever played Red Faction. Did you ever play Red Faction, the original Red Faction on PlayStation 2? Oh, no, I haven't played the original one. The original Red Faction, where, where Gorilla and Armageddon come from. Yeah. The original Red Faction on PlayStation 2 was far more of a traditional shooter. It's like this sci-fi. It's more, and I think it's much more sci-fi and like. It's very, um, oh, that's right. again, it's almost like Marxist. Oh, wait, no. Like, it's revolution. You're, the, you're this group of oppressed miners on, uh, on uh, Mars for the Altor Mining Corporation. And uh, you're this guy named Parker, who's like, uh, the, the, you're the, he's the protagonist, one of the miners who revolts. And you witness the start of the revolution, and you, like, play it all the way through the miners overthrowing Altor. I love this, dude. This is, this is teaching and, dude, you... This one right here, it's teaching you. This is a pair of special underwear. Um, basically, it's your health. Your underwear is your health. Oh. You just get fucking crushed by like it. Like this. A, a, Are you gonna a, be all squashed? Like yeah. this. Like this. <coughs> and now I can use it to get it. It's teaching you by taking Dude, your life away. I love Red, that. Red Faction introduced one of the most early examples of environmental destruction in a first person shooter. Because almost everything in that game is destructible. From buildings to like canyon walls, and there's hidden shit everywhere. Chris, I hope so you, you can. use you use mining detonators and rocket launchers and other things to burrow holes through things, and sometimes you can't progress without blowing a hole in a yeah. wall or something. And it's wicked cool how they did it. And the FPS aspects are pretty cool too. There's a lot of weapons and different enemies. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a, it's a fun game to try to speed uh, to try to do a speed playthrough of because there's a lot of stuff you don't really necessarily need to do, and there's a lot of ways to finish it quicker. And I've played that game so many times. Um, Dude, that was that was my favorite part about um, Fallout 3. The speed runs. The speed runs where yeah. you're just like, I know where exactly where to go. Yeah, yeah, you, it's like if you're if you're good enough, you don't even need to go to Megaton. You can just go right to Rivet City the second you get out of Vault 101 and talk to um, Doctor. Uh, Doctor, what's her face? She's the she's the woman who worked with your dad. Yep, and Dude, she also makes a comeback in Fallout 4. I wonder if you could go straight to the vault where your dad is, where the simulation is. I wonder I'm if you could do sure that. You can. If so, then you could just go to the opposite direction have, of River City. And you just have to walk across the map. Yeah. You can make it. You only have to fight fucking mole rats on your way into that mm -hmm. gas station where the vault is. Yep. So it's like. Now, it would be broken steel that becomes a problem if you're trying to do a speed run of, like, not just the main campaign, but even broken steel. I wouldn't consider any of the other add-ons part of it, but if you have broken steel and in, in, um, install, I feel like you have to consider that part of the, the speed, the speed. Ah, uh, uh, by the way, the Dan, play. go to... Bleep. Yeah. I always do that, because I always think about fucking regular video games, and I always mix it with this. Whenever I try to jump, if I press Y, it does this thing, so I always... Accidentally press Y. Oh, it's... anyways, what I was saying. For um, some reason, my jump. Red Faction is uh, is no different in that respect, where you can, uh, if you know where to go and what to do, you can uh, run through it rather quickly, and you can use the destructible environment to your advantage. And uh, there's a couple points where you could skip entire sections of the game if you know how to maneuver your way through the tunnels that you're in or whatever building you're in. There's this one. There's a couple sections where you need to be stealthy, where you need to like infiltrate areas. So what they do is they take off your suit, and with it most of your weapons you can only smuggle in a, a silenced oh, yeah. pistol and you wear like a suit and you pretend to be somebody in like the because there's administrative areas of Altor on the uh, on Mars it's not just all mines so sometimes you have to uh, infiltrate those administrative areas and you dress up in like a suit or as a doctor at one point and you have to make sure you don't get too close to any guards because they'll recognize you and you can't be in the sight of security cameras for too long because the alarm will sound because you're wanted mm. and everyone knows what you look like it's fucking crazy. There's a couple boss fights that will also make it a problem. Like one guy's Kpec. He he bioengineers a plague to spread throughout the mines to thin the population of the miners because they're overpopulated and they're worried that in the poor conditions they're living in they're gonna get a. Uh, Dude, look, I, I, I already got a pair, yeah. a new pair, you, of a fourth life. Yeah. Do you know <laughs> how um if in uh Where could you go the new uh, jellyfish fields fox. Is it called? It is awesome. In the new what? The new uh, Dishonored. Dishonored Two. Yes. If you can um, go through the entire game without killing anyone. Yes. 
Like even bosses? That's actually one of the ways you get a different ending. Part part of the endings are based upon uh, how many people you kill. Because they, they have this, this meter called chaos in the first and second <laughs> games. And killing more people causes higher chaos. Because what happens is as bodies pile up, <laughs> there's two plot devices they have to explain why killing more people would cause things to be a little bit worse off. In the first one, there's this thing that hits the city called the Rat Plague, and it's spread by rats. <laughs> and the more dead bodies there are, the more the plague spreads, and the more food there is for the rats, so they multiply. So, leaving dead people around causes the plague to get worse and worse. And then in the second one, there are these things called, uh... They're giant wasps, basically. I forget what they're called, though. And they make their nests. They plant their eggs in dead bodies. And, no. and, and the babies hatch from them, dude. And they have Dude, these watch giant this nests, and you have to like blow them up with with flammable liquor in order to clear them out, or else they attack you. Oh damn! Yeah, and it's kind of terrifying because like, and it's so like loud, and they come at you, and you're like, oh fuck! Watch this. I'm watching. But yeah, so you have to if you take down people non-lethally, it lowers your chaos and gives you a generally better ending, like a more. Go ahead and take this golden spatula and please go away. <laughs> Don't touch me. I love But yeah, that. dude, I just fucking jumped in Some place portraits. for a little bit and destroyed... <clears throat> well, that's it's funny that you mentioned that, Dan, because that's my next stop. The painting? Oh, shit, I always do that. Hey! <laughs> Did you just get pissed off because you hit his fucking painting? And drew a mustache on it. Look at the surrealism. Look at them. Look at it, look at it, look at it. All right, now go away. You're doing your speed run. <laughs> But yeah, dude, I love original PlayStation 2 games. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Mm. Jason was actually talking yesterday about that and how rare it is. But I yeah. have a, I have a copy. I have a copy of every Budokai game except Tenkaichi 2. All on the PlayStation? Yep, I have Budokai 1, 2, 3, Tenkaichi three. 1, and Tenkaichi 3. Can your PlayStation still play them? Yes. Uh, every sure. single one works. I'm surprised you haven't brought that over into play. I might all. do that next. Because they all... Because PS3... Is the PS3 backwards compatible? No. No. Do you have there a was you there was a limited few PlayStation <laughs> that were backwards compatible, but the newer models are not. Oh my God! Imagine owning a PS3 that's backwards compatible. How much you could sell that on eBay for? I think it was the top version of the original place, like the original PlayStation 3 that came out in 2006. That was. Oh my God! Robots. Yeah. Backwards. They only get worse too. This game is like so fucking. Yeah, Tenkai Ichi Three is so fun. Just the character. Oh, I love playing Budokai. 3 it has Budokai Three Tenkai Ichi, uh, Budokai Tenkai Ichi Three has the second highest roster, like the second largest roster of any fighting game in existence. Pause. Okay. We're back. Technical yeah. difficulties. Phone calls with fathers. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang! Dude, those robots charging at you. Yeah, they they, they, they no honestly idea. remind me of um, some droids Asshole. from Ratchet and Clank. Ass, he's fucking ass. It's, 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 it's one of the fucking ass. Yeah, I know. Shit. How do you know all this? Uh, I'm awesome. definitely not gonna be able to get that out there yet. What are I, some other games that I played to almost like ridiculous levels of knowing? Probably all the do you Fallout know my games. games. All the Fallout games, most of the Elder Scrolls games. I haven't played one and two, or, or even really Morrowind enough. But 4 and 5, I almost know, like, the back of my hand. Although, I actually, for, like, the, I kept coming back to Skyrim. It's a game that you can easily keep coming back to. And the last three times I've picked it up after, like, a couple weeks of not playing it, I found a new quest that I've never it, found before. It's very well designed in that aspect. Uh, it helps you very organically <sighs> find quests. I was like, wait a minute. Not it's not, like, just a radiant quest that you just get. It was literally this full-blown quest with its own story and everything that I just never encountered. I have a character that I'm going through the game right now, and I'm like level. I think the I, fuck? I just got. Why is there a plane underwater? <laughs> There's a lot of things underwater that shouldn't be underwater, Dan. But I just got campfires, got to like level um, 45, robots, like that. And well, I'm just thinking about how much of the game I still haven't done. Tartar sauce. I haven't done like all of the um, Thieves Guild quests. Oh my god. The Dark Brotherhood it, quests. Tartar sauce. I haven't done all the Mages Guild quests. If you do, if you do all the Thieves Guild quests, including like restoring it to its former glory, it's a lot of quests. You okay, so do. especially to find the stones of Baron Zaya, those unusual gems that they call them. Yep. You have to find 24 of them. So this is actually pretty cool. So like see that. this thing right here? Yes. yes. This little thing right here is like an ice plant. 
so Patrick can throw it. Patrick's the only one that can pick it up and throw it. But I don't have Patrick till very later in the game right now. So did this... I come all the way back here? Yeah, so, but instead of doing that, I'm going to do this. But you have to do it at the right time. Because I don't want to fucking waste my time and come back here. I'm literally just going to do this. <laughs> oh my... <coughs> Perfect 10. <laughs> That's absolutely awesome, dude. <laughs> I love seeing that when you just bypass clear indications of them wanting you to slow the fuck down in the game <laughs> and then you just tell the developers no <laughs> i will not abide by your laws because it wastes so because patrick is later in jellyfish fields you get like a little stoppy thing that you can and you like, have to like come all the way back yeah, you and have to come so much time all the way back and it's so fucking stupid or you can use the fucking um the free the uh teleporter thing but the teleporter thing you have to unlock both of them and it's so stupid but <laughs> stupid. Stupid. But it doesn't even take you all the way back. You have to do it like in like points. So you have to walk still. So instead <laughs> you just fucking Oh you would have landed right on the button. Yeah. But fun stuff you though. Could have gotten over there this first. is um this is a fun part. Asshole. Asshole. It literally looks Oh my god, Indiana Jones? Is that a blowfish? <laughs> yeah. Dun, 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 dun. It's fucking uh dun, dun, it's dun, no, it's more like Super Mario. <laughs> Link fucking Bowser's up here throwing Dude, I can't Puffer wait till I get him. the other powers and abilities. Hi, Gary. Yeah, I know. Is he trying to tell you shit? Yeah. Ha! Huh. That's funny. Oh, my God. Just atomic wedgie, man. Atomic wedgie. <laughs> yeah, Spongebob literally atomic wedgie. must have gotten bullied pretty hard in school because that was nothing for him. He just didn't care. I wonder if I can clear the entirety of this level or this part of the level before the episode ends. That would be pretty interesting. You gotta just keep going. Keep on. Oh shit. Oh man, just one that foot been in wow. front of the other. Yeah, that would have been bad, in fact. Soon you'll be walking out the door. Uh, Checkpoint. Yeah, I know. Hammer. Hi, oh my I get god. It. It's a hammer. Oh my. Get it? Because it's a ham. Oh my god. It's ham. SpongeBob was really, really concerned about. Is it a ham? Yeah, it's ham. It's ham? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Get no, it? Dude. Hammer. Is he, like, is he like a boss or is he. No, okay, he's a pussy. No. No, well, they are, but they aren't. In fucking big groups, it sucks. <sighs> Super combo. Oh, shit. Oh, their reach is really, uh, really high, huh? Yeah, that's what fucking. Those little tiny it. minions. Yeah, I get can't you, get like, this right, right now. I wish I could find a way to do it, but I have to get the bubble Special bowl, ability. which I could totally push, get, push, but push. I wouldn't finish this level. And then that's stupid. Hi. Yeah. Bye. Uh, boom, boom, boom. What are these boxes supposed to be? They are tiki's. They're just tiki's. Yeah. This is goo. Thanks. Or I can do this. Hey! You're tidy. Oh, you can't. It's only that first one then. Nice. Jesus. Ultra combo? Ultra combo. Kill Tacular. <sighs> and then here comes this fun ball. Triple girl! <laughs> yeah, in Halo 1. Kill Manjaro. Kill him in Jaro. He sounded more like an arena announcer in Halo 1. <sighs> Jesus. Whoa! Yeah, dude. Whoa! Secrets for days. Now, here's another one. Nothing here, nothing here. I should go this way, right? Uh, fuck you. I pick my directions. <gasps> <laughs> wow. That's impressive, sir. Ow. Ow! Oh. What? He can't handle water underwater? Yeah. Like, what is this? Water, water. It's actually goo. It's double water. Yeah, so if I get nine of those socks, I get another, uh... I get another... What's it called? Alright, well, you're gonna have to get that out of the sock next time. Well, actually, this is the last part of the level. We'll see ya in the next level!